Hawks, how's it going? I'm Trainee Nose. And I am Tyler Howell. And you're watching Fly Productions. Have you ever wondered what it's like to design your own app? Let's check out how some of our fellow Hawks are rising to the challenge. Two teams from our school joined the nationwide competition called the Verizon App Challenge. The junior high team made an app called Study Buddy, which helps students study more effectively. The high school team submission is called Intramurals, and it helps students make new friends at their school. The faculty advisors for this year's challenge are Ms. Schaefer and Ms. Partlett. The best in-state winners will be announced January 9th, 2017. Thank you for watching. We wish our Verizon App Challenge participants good luck, and we would also like to wish good luck to the boys and girls basketball team as they begin their splendid season. Hello fellow Hawks, I'm here with Brooks Merle and David Witte, and we're going to talk to them about the basketball season coming up. So boys, y'all had an open, opening season game this past Monday, and uh, We'd like to know how's, how the season's going to look now. Yeah, we look pretty good. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, we did win our first game of the season. Um, we're not that we're not that big of like a young team, but we are definitely like a whole lot older guys on the team. So we have a lot of more experience on this team. It's very nice. One more question for y'all: uh, What positions do y'all play? Uh, forward, I dunk. Uh, I play point guard and. Uh, Basically, I have the ball most of the time. I really yeah. like that. That's pretty awesome. And you? That's all, Hawks. Thank you very much, gentlemen. We had a great time. And, uh, Me too. Can't wait to cheer you on. Thank you. Now I'm going to transfer it over to my fellow friend, Seth, who's going to talk to you all about the Lady Hawks basketball team. Today we're here with Miss Sydney Bagby and Miss Miranda Kramer. And now we're going to talk about their basketball season. With a 33-point win, how's the season looking? Um, we're really confident about this season, and we have a young team, a lot of, um, a lot of motivation, and we're closer than ever. So, so let's get to know y'all a little bit better. What positions do y'all play? Um, I don't really play, play shooting guard, um, but sometimes I'm a forward. Um, I'm a point guard, but sometimes I dunk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I dunk harder than Brooks, so. <laughs> And that's all the time we had for today. Thank you guys for y'all's time, and can't wait to make one of y'all's games. Now let's go from the gym to the classroom of our very own Mr. Traumator, who has worked very hard to achieve an honor only few can reach. Mr. T teaches anatomy, robotics, and earth science here at Hannon. He has just recently been selected into Jeopardy Pool. This allows him the opportunity to be a contestant on Jeopardy for 2017. We asked Mr. T a few questions about his journey to Jeopardy. Found out last month I'm officially past the test, so I'm in the contestant pool, which gives you one year that they will call you four weeks before you're on the show and say, come on out. Technically, I would say I've been preparing since high school because I tried out for the high school tournament and the college tournament back when I was in high school and college, but it's been an ongoing process. You have to take two separate online tests where you link up to their server, answer 50 questions, 10 seconds to answer, type in your answer each question. The shooting will happen at either Houston or in Atlanta. I get my choice of when I get my dates. We wish Mr. T the best of uh, luck as he continues his journey to Jeopardy. And uh, speaking of studying hard, midterms are quickly approaching. And here are a few over tips from our upperclassmen to keep the stress away. I'm here with Sarah today, who's a senior at hand, and I'm going to be asking her a couple questions about exam week. So, Sarah, how important is it to you uh, studying for exam week? Super important. When do you usually start studying for exam? Like the week before or like the weekend before? About like the end of the week and then the weekend before. What are you, some of your like main essentials, like things you need to have for exam week to keep you focused? Depending on the exam that day. So like math and like biology, definitely a couple cups of coffee. Cups of coffee. It's recorded. I'm here with Seth, who's a junior here at Hannon. So Seth, when do you usually start studying for exams? Usually I study the night before so I can like retain all that knowledge. So yeah. you just like cramming it in one night? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth it. 
I'm here with Tyler, who's a senior at Hannon. Hello. So, Tyler, as a senior, what advice do you have for underclassmen to help prepare themselves better for exams? Well, the truth is, don't be like Seth and study the night before. Uh, Start studying about a week ahead of time of your exam. I want to thank Sarah, Seth, and Tyler for giving us some tips on exam week. Now that you've gotten some of the stress of your exams out of the way, here's something to make you laugh. I toasted you, said honey, we may be through, but you'll never hear me complain, cause I got friends in low places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. Come on. Come on. I'll be okay. One more time. I got things on so, so great. You got it wrong. <laughs> to the oasis. Oh, I got friends. Come on, we're doing carpool carry. Oh, places. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. Yes, Thank I you. was wrong. I just don't belong. But heck. I've been there before. Carpool karaoke. Oh, you know the song. You know this one? Know right. this song. Just what? say goodnight and I show myself to the door. That you're living in. Cause I got friends in low places. Oh, I got friends in low places. Come on, everybody! Thank you for watching Hawkeye TV. I'm Trey Nunes. And I am Tyler Howell. Have a great day, Hawks.